you know, Glenn, I don't pay you to drink my coffee. You should. Take it back. You don't like it, huh? Well, I got on clearance over at the grocery store. It's none of that artificial stuff. All natural. Would you like for being here? Kind of messes in my stomach a little. You know, gets me all like a little. And then put it in. We flavored stuff. Just shut does up. up. Shut up. Okay. I mean, I know you usually wake up on the wrong side of the bed, but. Come on, man. Today, I woke up in the wrong bed. I mean, I, f I felt something so, so real. Man, I wish I could sleep as good as you. I have to take medication to even get into REM sleep, <laughs> much less dream. I just. I wanted to see how it played out, how it, how it ended. You know, Glenn, I. You really are nuts sometimes. <laughs> Ugh. You and Fred should really get together sometime. What? Fred? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's a disgrace to his whole department. He did prescribe me some meds that really helped me sleep, though. His latest project, however, it's a bit of lunacy. He says he can access the memories of dreams or whatever. Don't know what it means. Does he need any participants? Because he's running this whole operation out of his dad's basement. Yeah, I do. This is your last chance to back out. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. You understand that I'm basically putting you into an induced coma so that you can access the memory of this dream. You may not come back. Yeah. What do I have to lose? Great! Now I'm participating in assisted suicide. Well, that's exactly the type of attitude I'm looking for. Let's begin. Now, just relax. <laughs> <laughs>